Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. Kosas just came out with a brand new formulation of lipsticks called Wet Sticks. They're supposed to be moisturizing lip shines. I bought five of the shades in total. We're going to talk all about the specs. We're going to do swatches on my lips as well as the back of my hand and I'm going to give you my first impressions and thoughts. So if this is something you're interested in, then let's get started. So starting with the shades that I purchased, I have the shade Heat Wave, 100 Degrees, Tropic Bliss, Sunset Simmer, and Hot Beach. I wish that I could have purchased the entire line for you guys and swatched all of them, but I only picked up the ones that I thought that I would really like and I would continue to use. All right, I'm on Kosas's website right now. Let's talk about the specs. So these are $24 each. They're described as a clean, balmy lip care stick packed with squalane and ceramides that melts onto lips for a sheer wash of color and a touch of soft kissable shine. The main ingredients in it are squalane and ceramides, hyaluronic acid, peptides, and mango butter. It says that it's supposed to give you more of a sheer finish. That was not my impression when I first saw these lipsticks being advertised. A lot of the advertisements that they have for these look like it would be full pigmentation, like they have like drips of color coming off onto it, stuff like that. So for me, I I thought it was just going to be a moisturizing lipstick but now seeing that it's supposed to be sheer I'm curious even more curious to see how this is gonna look on the lips so there are 12 shades in total and like I said I bought five of them the units are pretty they're kind of this bluish metallic looking unit and it does have a magnetic closure on it I'm actually quite excited for these all of these look like they're going to be tones that I gravitate towards now I'm hoping even though they are sheer shades they are are different enough for me to justify having all five of these. Okay, so let's get started on the swatches. I have a tissue here. I'm just gonna wipe off my lip balm. The first one I wanna go in with is the shade Heat Wave. And I have an idea that this is going to just kind of melt on the back of the hand. Super emollient, a little bit tacky because it does have that shiny finish. Okay, let's go ahead and apply this one. Very excited for this. Oh, it does have a scent. They do have, what is that? Is that vanilla? A subtly vanilla type of scent to them. Oh, she is sheer. Melts onto the lips. Oh, wow. That looks beautiful. It is quite a pink shade, but I think because the finish is more of that sheer finish, it's helping it not wash me out. I don't know if I would categorize this under being sheer. I think that I would say that this is more of a medium coverage and the shininess of it kind of helps it, I guess, be more sheer. Okay, here is the shade Heat Wave. Heat Wave is described as a neutral rosy beige shade. I would say that this on me pulls a little bit more pinky than it does beige, but overall still pretty much a nude on me. They feel super, super slick, almost similar to a very lightweight oil, like a lip oil, but I don't know how hydrating this would be or how long the hydration would last because it's, it has such a slip to it. All right, and it looks like it just easily wipes away. Next up, we're going in with the shade Hot Beach. Oh, this one seems very similar to my natural lip color. There you go. That is just one quick layer. I would consider this one layer just to give you guys a look of what it looks like if you were just to swipe on a little bit of it. And then let me put a little bit more on and build that coverage. And here it is with what I consider to be its full pigmentation. Hot Beach is described as a warm rosy beige shade. I can see this being a versatile shade for me where I can wear it with a lip liner and it would look really, really pretty, but I could also wear this without a lip liner just on its own. And this is probably as light as I would go in terms of like a nudie pink shade without lip liner to just deepen up the edges. Next, we have the shade 100 Degrees. This one is described as a neutral pink beige. Wow, every single shade that I've gotten so far is a neutral shade. Can do one layer. Ooh, pretty this is one layer of 100 degrees very subtle almost reminds me of just like a tinted lip balm it reminds me a lot of the summer fridays vanilla beige shade but this one is going to be a little bit more pinky a little lighter than that and then let's attempt the full pigmentation of this i love how these just glide onto the lips they're very very slick so i think wet stick as a name 
perfect. It completely embodies that where it just feels like a very hydrating, very slick lip balm slash lip oil texture. If you guys have ever used the Incredible Jammy Lips, these are really reminiscent to those. They're really, really reminding me of them a lot. And you know what? This formula actually kind of reminds me of the Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks that got discontinued but were super, super popular. Like everyone was looking for them. This is giving me those vibes. I have a couple of those and I tried those out. And these I think are a little thicker in texture. They're not as slippy as those. But these are giving me the same type of finish and aesthetic as those. They're definitely not transfer proof, but they don't claim to be. Next is the shade Tropic Bliss. This is described as a cool rosy mauve. Again, light layer, beautiful shade. Wow, that's a really pretty mauve. It's not too cool. It is definitely cooler because it is going to be a mauve shade, but it's not giving me gray tone right now. Okay, and then let's build it up. Because of the formulation of these, you can get quite messy, but you can easily wipe it away. All right, here is the shade Tropic Bliss. Very pretty shade, not my favorite so far, but it's still really pretty and very wearable, especially if you're a medium skin tone like I am. I can actually see a lot of people loving this shade. I know a lot of you love a good mauve tone, and this one seems like it would be very flattering if you like cool or warm tones. All right, and lastly, we have the shade Sunset Simmer. Ooh, and this is described as a warm rosy brown, which, you guys may or may not know are my favorite tones in lipstick. So let's try this one. All right, here is our light layer, beautiful shade. This would for sure be like an everyday type of lip for me. And then let's build her up. All right, here is Sunset Simmer, really beautiful tone. I would say that it looks darker in the pictures than it does on myself. I really like this shade. I think it's super suitable. And I really feel like the sheer wash was very daytime-esque and then building it up really gave me more of a going out look. So I love that this shade in particular feels like it would be very versatile in that sense where I could wear it all throughout the day and just change it up based on how much I put on the lips. So really beautiful shade. I think this one might be my favorite one. Okay, those were all five shades swatched on my lips and on on the back of my hand. Now let's talk a little bit about my first impressions and my thoughts on these products. So they are super, super reminiscent to a lot of favorites, I feel like, in the beauty community when it comes to glossy, glossy lipsticks. So these really remind me of the incredible Jammy Lips, also the Revlon Lustrous Glass Shine lipsticks. And if you want to even compare it, you could compare it to the Tarte Maracuja Lip like lip uh, pens, the clicky ones. I have the lip plump ones, but I'm pretty sure that all of the formulas for them other than the plumping aspect to it are very similar. Those, however, I would say feel a little bit, actually quite a bit more thick on the lips when you build it up. So those definitely have a little bit of a thicker consistency while the Revlon Glass Shine lipsticks have a thinner consistency than these are. So it's kind of like right smack dab in the middle. I would say for me, they are very, very reminiscent to the Incredible Jammy Lips. My big gripe with those, however, was that I only ever liked one of the shades. I think it only came in maybe four or five shades. That's why I never picked up any more. But to know that these are very, very similar to texture, color payoff, and how it feels on the lips, I'm very excited because there are way more shades to choose from in this line. I really love this type of formulation, the kind of glossy lipstick look for an everyday lip color. I admittedly am a very lazy girl makeup type of person, especially on a day-to-day -day basis if I'm not filming and I wanna throw some makeup on. Lips, believe it or not, are kind of like the last thing on my mind when I'm doing my makeup. I kind of just throw stuff on and having a formulation like this where it's easy to apply, easy to stick in your bag for reapplication, it is the best for me. I don't like wearing lipstick or lip gloss or really anything other than lip balm on my lips when I'm going out and I'm getting coffee or if, if I'm eating out lunch or dinner or whatever, I like to wipe my lip product off. So having something that I can easily wipe off and then reapply 
is my favorite thing. That is why mainly I kind of veer towards a glossy lip stain. I have been really loving my tinted lip balms lately. They're just so easy and no fuss. And I really love these formulations with a lip liner. And I would suggest wearing a lip liner first and then applying this type of formulation to the lips because if you try to do it the other way around it's definitely that lip liner is definitely gonna smear and kind of slip around if you are looking for something that is transfer proof this is not going to be the product for you however if you're in the same boat as i am where you like a formulation that is kind of like no fuss in my opinion as well as something that's going to give you nice color nice hydration throughout the day then i would definitely suggest picking these up and trying them out i think kosas did a really great job at coming out with so many different lipstick colors in this line to start off with. I am so tempted to pick up more of these shades that I had my eyes on, but I shouldn't because, I mean, let's be real, $24 is pretty pricey for, you know, a lipstick like this. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stick to the ones I have for now. Overall, I do like this product. I think that it hit all the boxes or checked all the boxes that Kosas claimed that they would. My only thing is the marketing is a little bit misleading where it shows a ton of pigmentation um, when they're advertising it and stuff, but I don't know. Like I said, I would not consider this sheer coverage. I would consider like a tinted lip balm sheer coverage when it comes to color, you know? These for me are going to be more of a medium coverage lip product. I think it's a super comfortable formulation. Now in terms of how hydrating it is throughout the day, I don't know that just yet. I'll leave in the description box down below if these are in fact hydrating or if they're gonna be that lip product that feels like it has that shallow layer of hydration and then it just ends up leaving your lips kind of flaky if you know what I mean. So I'll let you guys know in the description if I actually feel like this is doing something for my lips or if it's just kind of maintaining the hydration in my lips or if it's drying them out because I know that that's a big seller especially when you're looking for an everyday type of lipstick. You want something that's going to be comfortable as well as something that's going to leave your lips better than they were before. Okay guys I think that's everything for this video. If I missed anything or if you have any additional questions please make sure to leave them in the comments down below for me and I'll be sure to answer those whenever I can or as soon as I can. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!